Hey, what's going on everybody? Physio Trader here. So I want to jump into a live trade recap. Okay, so essentially the market gapped down on Friday after the Federal Reserve gave their meeting at the Jackson Hole Summit. And I was expecting more of a traditional gap and go down to the downside, but the markets overall are seemingly holding up. So now I may be reversing course and looking for long sided trades. So let's take a look. All right, so over here we have NVIDIA. NVIDIA really gapped down just sitting under 160, 159.67 as its low, um, but it seems to be holding that VWAP quite strong, quite well. And so at this point, um, if it does wanna go below 160, 150, then I would be looking to go short. But right now, uh, since it's held that VWAP so strong, it did break below it, and it does look like we are starting to reclaim that 10 and eight SMA on the two minute, uh, as well as the one minute that I am interested and in looking to potentially go long. This candle is going to kind of determine. All right, in there long. 100 at 162.76. Looking to see if we can get a push towards that purple line over there at 163.70. Just for a dollar move. And that's what I was afraid of. I did not want to get a, a fake break to the upside on that spike. Again, if we do go a little bit lower, I will just take the loss on this one. Looking to get out around a dollar move, just one point. And right there, I'm going to call it at a 102 loss. So super annoying, but it is what it is. All right, over here, I missed the short entry on this one, but I did get in short 200 shares at 161.48 at this point, looking for a a breakdown, but I'm seeing a lot of resistance on this uh, 161.30 mark, so I don't want to get stuck in a reversal. If you can kind of see that downtrend line that is occurring. All right, just have 50 shares remaining. Gonna put in a stop right there at 161.49. And right there stopped out for a whole $28 uh, in my pocket. All right, went long there. Tesla 50 shares at 284.82, looking to get that break of 285. I want to see if this thing can make a reclaim to 286 and above. Looking roughly in the same direction, though. Give this thing about a point to move. If it's going to go against me, then I'm just going to take the $50 loss. Again, in there, 284.82. Trying to balance giving it room to work versus just watching it fail in front of me. And right there, I'm going to call it a loss on that one as well. Now sitting around $35 red on the day. All right, so over here, it looks like it was a fake break to the upside, looking to potentially go short on the break of 160 to the downside. If NVIDIA gets moving, it really can move in your favor. Choose through those buyers pretty quickly on this one. All right, in there, 159.82 for 300 shares short. 
Got a partial fill out of 225. Man, just like that. This breaks above 160. I'm just going to have to close out the whole remaining 181 shares. But I don't want to give on it just too yet. Getting close to my break even point. All right, right there and closed out the remaining position for a loss, now sitting at $18 green on NVIDIA for the day. All right, over here, came back into Tesla. Tesla's making another spike just like NVIDIA did, long 300 at 285.57. This was the move I was looking for. Uh, confidence is higher at this point that I am going to get a bigger push. But now I think we're going to get stuck. So just going to pair off some of these positions right here. Took off 50. Definitely chased this one up. So I want to take some off. Took off another 100. Took off another 100. 50 remaining. All right. Let's see if we can stay above this line. All right. I threw in a stop in. So I've locked in the profit. I am green on the day. So at this point, it's really just a matter of letting it work for me a little bit. Adjusted my stop, slid up the order. Let's see if we can get this break. Come on, if 287 can break, we can really get moving for all nine highs, but out there. All right, so that is the trades on the day. Basically locked in another $40 or 80-ish dollars, but ended up around um, $60 on the day. So let's just take a look at the actual um, trade screen now. So, all right, over here you can see here's, um, we've got Tesla. This was kind of the spike I was trading, got stopped out. Thankfully, got stopped out. And here we go all the way back down. Um, just to kind of showcase, here's the, uh, the, the trade book we were looking at here. And then um, let's go over here, checking out NVIDIA. So here's NVIDIA. This is where I, I went short, uh, got a couple, and then uh, closed out for the loss. This thing did want to make sure, try to reclaim VWAP once more. Um, and then just incidentally, I noticed that uh, we really kind of uh, just honored the 50 period average on the one minute the entire time. So that's why I definitely want to look at uh, multiple time frame analysis. <clears throat> but eventually it did come all the way back down. Big. Uh, big drop to the downside on this one. So overall, that is it for me. If you have any questions, reach out. Let me know. Catch you on the next one.